Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about finishing the year well. So it's only about five weeks now until the end of the year, till the end of 2020. And to be fair, 2020 has been a year that will be etched on our memories forever and it will feature in history books. Hi Chris, for years to come, no doubt. Hi Amanda. Um, it, that is if there are even history books in the future, who knows? We will feature on the World Wide Web, no doubt, this year for a long, long time. And it's been hard and whatever you've, hi Andy, whatever you've been through this year, um, particularly if you found it a real, real challenge and you've had some really sad times, then our prayers from Fitfish, the Fitfish team, are with you and um, we yeah we stand with you in that and we know it's been difficult for everyone in in very different ways but i know some of you have experienced loss and pain and suffering which we don't want to brush over at all we know it's been a really really hard time and there are many things about this year that have been out of our control but here at fitfish we're all about supporting you with the things that we can control. And so we support you to be healthy as we can be in body, spirit, and soul, so that we can be the best that God has prepared us to be and do the things that he has prepared us to do. And that's obviously within the kind of limitations that we have. So I'm just going to cover three things in this talk about finishing the year well and I hope that they will be helpful. So on the first note, it's making the most of the positives. So there's been so much stuff that isn't so positive, but there have been many, many things there are, and they might seem small and insignificant things, but if they affect you and affect your life, then God cares about them and they're important. So first off, the food around Christmas time. Now normally by this time of year there'll be beige food everywhere. Every uh, meeting you go to, every staff room, every um, Bible study, home group, church service, wherever you go there's lots of beige food perhaps sprinkled with a bit of green and red and silver and sweets and chocolates and that's wonderful to be out there and be able to celebrate all those all those occasions and perhaps you're still very much going out to work and you are facing some of these challenges but in general we're going to be faced now with a lot less um, challenges and obstacles between now and Christmas in terms of our eating we are going to mainly be in control and for once the birth of Jesus isn't going to be celebrated from November to January with the rustle of sweet wrappers and the eating of mince pies. You can decide when you enjoy those things at appropriate times and you're not constantly battling against lots of offers of those food. So that's the first thing that the positive is that we're not going to have quite as many challenges in this season in terms of our eating. The second thing is even when we are in full lockdown, the government said that we could go out once a day for exercise. Now I think that was amazing and I think that in itself just shows how how important exercise is and even in this state we're now in in England we can meet up with one other person to walk to run to chat and they can be different people and that's amazing isn't it that's such a blessing so put emphasis on exercise put emphasis on getting out and about and appreciate everything so as we go back to normal eventually or as our lockdown situation changes as things are reintroduced again just appreciate everything appreciate the little things as they're reintroduced let's never lose sight of what it means to not be able to do much at all and then to be able to do things again so that's the first point making the most of the positives the second point is vision have a vision for how you want the end of this year 
to look. So we often talk about motivation in uh, my Healthy Whole and Free groups and the Forever program. We talk a lot about intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and what motivates us. And we also talk about the word motive. So motive means to move towards something, be driven towards something. The energy or the force that makes us move towards something. But what is that something? Try not to drift around at the end of this year, but have a firm vision what that could look like for you. It's wonderful having dates in the diary that give us a bit of a goal, and that's a great extrinsic motivation. And there's nothing better than New Year's Eve and Christmas Day for those big dates in the diary. So how do you want to feel when you sit down at the Christmas lunch table, dinner, on your lap, whatever you're doing Christmas Day. How do you want to feel when you wake up that morning? And how do you want to feel as you end 2020? Because there's still time. You can feel that way. You can feel positive that you've taken control and you've been in control of your decisions and your health. So try and have a vision that might be writing some things down. It might just be picturing things in your head, it might even be making a vision board and revisit it regularly and remind yourself actually how you want to feel at the end of the year. And the next point is habits. So there is still time to build some good habits before the end of the year. And I'd like to challenge you to choose three things that you can do that will change your tra trajectory and change the votes that you're putting in the box for the person who you want to become. Just small things that you can do on a consistent basis between now and the end of the year that will have an impact on you. It might only be small. So some examples we've been talking about in the healthy whole and free groups are things like drinking a glass of water first thing, making your bed, not putting clothes on the floor at the end of the day, taking a short walk every morning, even if it's only for two minutes, getting outside every day. And one lady in one of my groups was also talking about the fact that she's decided to wear a necklace every day. And the difference that has and the different way that makes her feel is really important. So what three things could you choose that would add up to you being in a slightly different place by the end of the year because it's not too late at all. And it's not too late for some bigger things either. I mean, if you, if you want to feel different physically, if you want to feel better in your clothes, that's totally possible. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. So a quick reminder, so make the most of the positives. Those small things like not being surrounded by as much food are really helpful this time of year. So appreciate that because other years it is a bit of a battle. The government really encouraging us to get out and exercise. So listen to that advice and make sure that you do and appreciate the things as they come back in, the things that we're allowed to do again. Number two was vision. <coughs> know what you're aiming towards. Know how you want to end your year and how you want to feel. And then work backwards and see what you need to do. Habits, still time to develop new habits to slightly change your trajectory and end the year on a different note. So what things are you going to choose? I'd love to hear some examples about what little things you can commit to, to do between now and the end of the year that will have an impact. I also want to tell you about our latest freebie, which is very exciting, which is called 50 Wonderful Ways to End the year well and it's got 50 ideas of just short little things that you can do to give a boost to your body spirit and soul and it's not just for you it's for other people as well so if you'd like to grab this free freebie then do now i'm going to type it into the comments but it's bit.ly forward slash wonderful ways and it's all small letters because bit.ly is case sensitive. So you can click on that if you're watching on Facebook or you can type that in bit.ly forward slash wonderful ways and download this document which has got 50 wonderful fun ideas to bring in um, a bit of a boost into the end of your year. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Do write any comments, let me know if that will inspire you in some way and I will see you all soon. Take care, bye.